Hi and welcome. Ubiquity have just released version 8.5.6 of their Unify network controller, which has a new dashboard. So let's take a look at this new dashboard and I'll give you a tour and how you can customize the dashboard as well with this new Unify version. However, the customization options on this dashboard are only a few options at the moment and they will be developing it further down the line so keep a lookout as well for new versions coming up soon so let's get to my computer behind me here and take a look at the new Unify dashboard with version 8.5.6 of the Unify network controller so here we are and I've logged in to my Unify network controller and I'm running this on a UDM SE and also I've updated my Unify OS to version 4.0.20 as you will see on the screen here and to enable the new dashboard you will need to have Unify network version 8.5.6 or greater. So as you can see I've also updated the network to 8.5.6 which has then brought us in to this new style dashboard. Now at the left hand side here we still have the same menu options so we have the dashboard topology unified devices client devices ports radios insights and then further down we have settings and also the system log then of course we have the usual information which is slightly different layout slightly different design which is showing my router which is the udmse and it's showing gateways, wired devices, access points, and also clients. We also have the system uptime, which it showed before, the WAN IP, which of course are blocked out, and also the gateway IP. And we have the versions currently in use. Then we have our ISP information with our monthly data usage, so that's the average between the 1st of October and the 12th of October. And you'll find this if you hover over it, you will see that it provides the dates there. We also have the current activity for download and upload kilobits per second or megabits per second, whichever it uh, reports it as. And then we have the ping times for Microsoft, Google, and also Cloudflare. Then also we have the last speed test information. There's a button there to run the speed test, which you could do before. However, the dashboard, which is in the center here, is actually showing at the moment all network health. If you want to just show the health for the Wi-Fi, you would click on the Wi-Fi health here, and then it will change the graph, as you will see, to just Wi-Fi clients and devices. So we'll go back to all network health and this graph what it shows you is in the blue which is the download speed so that was 140 megabits per second at the 11th of october between 1845 and 1850. now the graph showing in purple color is actually the upload speed so that was 9.62 megabits per second on the 11th of october between 1845 and 1850 so the upload and the download is showing in that peak graph there you'll also see that there's various squares which are slightly grayed out here now if you count the number of squares this will show you how many connections were connected to your Unify network controller and were active at that time. So as you can see we've got a graph here which says 40, 30, 20 and 10. So this is reporting the number of clients that were active at that particular time. So as you can see if we hover over here we've got 12 connections to our Unify network controller so that would be 12 clients connected between 1525 and 1530 on October the 11th so that's what this blocked graph is showing you the number of clients as well as the speed now if you want to change it instead of a one day connection you can change it to by the hour the week or month and to do this 
in the top right here you'll see we've got highlighted in blue one day so that's one day of activity showing in this graph here if you want to change it by the hour you just click on one hour and it will show you it by the hour as you can see the graph changed you can have it changed to the week so you click on one w or if you want it by the month you'll click on one month and then it will give you the whole graph and activity for the month underneath this we have isp performance and as you can see we've got green blocks and also yellow blocks and red blocks so if you hover over for example the green the green actually doesn't provide any information but if you hover over the yellow ones it will say what happened during that yellow block so as you can see we've got high latency detected on the september the 14th between one hours and september the 15th one hours where the average latency was seven milliseconds but the maximum latency was 32 milliseconds so that's why it's showing because of the high latency there so if we hover over the red section you will see it's providing dates where the internet was disconnected so anything in red means that the internet was disconnected during that block of red color so as you can see there again we have another internet disconnected block and there now i can confirm that these blocks are okay because it was when i was doing things on my um, home network was disconnected during those times then if we move down under that you can see we've got a list of squares and these are the clients connected to your unify network so as you can see the one that's showing like with a beacon around it so a beacon symbol going out that's the client wor01 which is my workstation pc and that's the most active client which i expect it would be actually and if you hover over it which i've done you'll see that we've got download of 121 gigabytes and also upload of 113 gigabytes with the traffic total being 233 gigabytes now that's the total traffic transmitted during that month there so if you change the graph to say one day you will see that the information there with the client with the beacon has changed the traffic total now to 8.4 gigabytes so that's the total traffic for one day so changing the hour day week or month at the top here in the top right also changes the data totals for all of these clients here in this row now you'll also see that as well as clients there's also though so for example web, web streaming amazon video ssl tls web file transfer amazon windows updates so on so it also gives you the applications that were being used and the data for those and also the internet protocols that were being used so for example sites that were uh, accessed such as github facebook home assistant and so on so it's giving you the traffic type as well so for example let's encrypt we have outlook.com as well as the client devices so it gives you all of these as you can see here then moving down we have the wireless access point information so as you can see we've got all highlighted at the moment which means it will show you the information in this bar here for both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz as well so should you have 6 gigahertz it will also show that but as i don't have a 6 gigahertz access point at the moment you'll see that this 6 ghz which is 6 gigahertz is actually grayed out meaning that it can't find any access points with 6 gigahertz enabled or 6 gigahertz facility on it but if you want to break it down further you can click on 2.4 which has put a blue ring around that box and then it just shows you the ap radio tx retries for the 2.4 gigahertz band and for the wi-fi connectivity it will also show just the information for 2.4 gigahertz so 
we can change it to five so we we'll click on five and as you'll see it's changed this information here and we've also got the average TX retries for the five gigahertz band so let's put it back to all and as you can see we've got TX retries and if you hover over it which I've just done it's showing you the band the access points and the percentage of transmission retries so if we hover over green you'll see we've got one percent of transmission retries in the five gigahertz band and it shows you the number of access points as well so there's one which is enabled with five gigahertz and also one for 2.4 gigahertz then below this we have the access point density which is showing as good so we've got good access point density and as you can see we've got a bar which changes from dark red to green and then again cross to the right hand side orange to dark red now we've got a dot there which is minus 65 so if we hover over that you'll see that we've got information about the access point so it's the same percentage of all traffic for that access point maximum phy rate is 1.6 megabits the number of clients the signal rate in dbm and also the tx retries so that's what provided in the graph by default in the new unify network version 8.5.6 however you can actually customize this dashboard so here at the right hand side you will see that there's a half circle there with an arrow pointing left if you click this it will bring up a dashboard widgets screen as you can see here you'll see that these are highlighted with blue lines around them the ones that have a blue line around them are the graphs that are currently being shown on the dashboard and the ones that are gray do not show up on this new dashboard here so if you want to enable for example the charts and the active channels all you need to do is click anywhere on the picture for example charts and then you can see we've got a blue bar around it active channels click on it blue bar around it so if you want to show all those on the dashboard here just click then apply changes and as you can see it's now added all this application information and connections here onto the dashboard and then also we have active channels so if we close this at the side here by clicking x you'll see that we now have the 2.4 gigahertz and it's showing as green and the 5 gigahertz so it shows you what channels your access points are currently broadcasting on so as you can see we've also got the application information where it provides details of up down and total traffic and also what protocol or application is for each of those traffic in that graph so this is what you used to see before on the old dashboard and also the connections for wi-fi were also showing on the old dashboard as well so if you want to remove anything from the dashboard all you need to do is click on the arrow again at the right hand side here so click the arrow that's facing left and it will then pop up the dashboard widgets again so if you want to remove any widgets all you need to do is click on them again and you'll see that it's now turned the bar around them gray so that means it will remove all the widgets so let's do them all and see what happens apply changes close that and all you can see now is we've got by default network health and also isp performance because we've hidden those other graphs so if you want to re-enable them or reset it for example to default all you do is click the half circle again with the arrow pointing left and select restore default and then all you need to do you don't need to click apply changes after restoring default you just click x to close that pop-up window and that will restore the dashboard to the new default so that's basically the new unify dashboard in version 8.5.6 hope you like this short and brief tour and hope it's uh, given you a bit more of an insight into how you configure it and what information is shown on this dashboard here of course if you want to go in and look at further information for a particular graph section 
you'll see that we've got arrows pointing to the right on each of the graphs. So if you click one of those arrows, it will take you into the detail, detailed section where it will show more information, so an in-depth information about that particular section of the graph. So this one we've clicked on is for performance and access point density, as you will see. And we've all got green bars in this graph here. So to get back to the dashboard, all you do is click on the dashboard, which is looks like the speedometer at the top left corner here. And that will take you back to the new Unify dashboard. So my thoughts on this new Unify dashboard. It's OK. Um, it looks nice. The design's OK. Um, to be honest, personally, I don't tend to look at my Unify dashboard at all the graphs and information. I just let my network run. And if there's any problems, then I'll probably go into the dashboard and look into the logs and so on. I don't tend to look at my dashboard. Maybe you do yourself. Um, anyway, yeah, it's OK. It's obviously new, so there's not a lot of customization to it at the moment. I probably would have preferred it left as it was before um, either way. I don't think that it's probably any better than the other graph and dashboard that provided information before. Let's see what they can do with it later on with further customization. Let me know your thoughts about it. Why not drop a comment? Also, if you go into the posts section of my YouTube channel, you'll see that I've put a poll on there where you can uh, complete that if you wish. And we'll see what the results are. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. And also, why not think about subscribing? Anyway, thanks for watching and more videos are coming soon. Take care and bye for now.